you turned pro at um, in 2007, correct? Yes. So when did you get into martial arts and, and what martial arts did you get into? And then how was that scene in Poland? Because, you know, obviously back then, um, was martial arts popular? What was it? Was it movies? What was it that got you into martial arts and what style did you start in? Uh, I started when I was nine years old. Okay. Uh, from judo. Oh, cool. I started judo. Nice. Uh, it's not a big story. You know, my, my mother was a teacher. And uh, I go to the school when she was a teacher because, you know, she wanted to watch me all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I remember that there was some... Uh, in the school, there was something when she... She needed the G to, to show something in the school. You know, I don't know why, but I remember that I go to the gym and uh, to give it back, this, 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 this uh, G, yeah? And I see the, what guys over there doing, you know, uh, the throws, the everything, the exercise, and I asked my mother, can I go and train? And she said, yes, why not? Let's go, let's do this. And I trained judo, you know, after judo, you know, we started watching, you know, Bruce Lee, Van Damme movie with with uh, with this guy. So <laughs> also we train movie styles. <laughs> nice. After that, uh, you know, street fights also after, you know, uh, in the school, all, in my school was something like this that we all when, when not only me whole school was uh, you know they like fight you know so uh, every week was something uh, something happened in, in my school you know we go to the uh, up you know to the back of the church and that was our playground yeah <laughs> <laughs> there so uh, the first MMA my my first MMA fight was over there you know in the in the park in the back of the church uh, uh, so later I started training boxing, uh, and I remember when I trained boxing, uh, my friends started training jiu-jitsu. And I asked one of my friends, uh, what is this jiu-jitsu, Brazilian jiu-jitsu? And right, he right. said, okay, let's go. Uh, I asked him on the gym, you know, when we do lifting. And he, oh, well, let's go to the small room, I'll show you. And he started showing me armbar, triangle, but in easy way. And I say, hey, come on, but this is shit, you know, I can punch you and you are <laughs> on the ground, you know. Yeah. Oh, and he say, okay, let's go a little bit harder. And I say, okay. And he, you know, submit me 20 times. And I say, okay, can I go with you to train this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And they take me. I start connecting, you know, boxing and jujitsu, you know. And I, you know, uh, and after a couple of years, I switch uh, boxing for Muay Thai. And also in uh, my jujitsu gym, we've got a lot of wrestlers. And they show me, you know, takedowns and stuff like this. I start connecting. I was, you know, like a amateur fighter. I do boxing, I do jiu-jitsu, I do Muay Thai. Yeah. Uh, but I don't feel, you know, that is some enough for me, you know. Uh, and I remember that I watch on internet, my friends showed me some bright highlights. And I watch uh, Igor Vovchanchi. Yes, and I said, yes. okay, remember this guy, yeah? yeah? And I said, okay, I want to do the same what he does, you know. And I go to the first amateur MMA uh, competition. I want it, and I said, okay, this is my sport. This is something what I like to do. And this is how it starts, you know. And when and when you were training before that, before you saw Vochanchin and, and, and you saw that there was like a sport and, and you could be a professional, it doesn't make money, th there couldn't have been a lot at the end of the road for, for a martial artist when you first got into it. So what, what motivated you just to be a better fighter to take care of yourself yeah. or just the competitiveness? I just, I just to be the best, you know, the best. Just be confident and uh, in strong. In the beginning, we don't do it for the money because nobody pay you money for it. Right, you know? right. You, <laughs> I know you're talking about. It. I came up that way too. You know, a piece of paper with your name and congratulations, and he was happy. You know, come back yeah. to, to home. And, well, I want the fight, and that's it. You know, we do this for uh, because we want to be the best. You know, you know. After a couple of years, uh, you know, you start thinking in a different way. You know, because you need to. Uh, yeah, pay your bills and stuff like this. So you need to, okay, now I have to do something more. I need to find a job and train. So I find, you know, I, I work like a bouncer because uh, this is only one job who can uh, uh, let me to train twice by day, you know. Right. I was exhausted in the, in the first training in the morning, but I can do this, you know. In normal job, I cannot do this because I will be in the job, you know. So, yeah, I work like a bouncer. But after, you know... Uh, but I never stop belief that in future I can, you know, be a pro professional fighter and uh, have money from this. You know, everybody say to me that if you think that you're gonna have money from this, you are wrong. You know, and I said no, they they are wrong. Yeah. I show all of them that they are wrong. You know, 
maybe that's why they, they don't believe in themselves. I always believe in this. So step by step, step by step, uh, you know, small money. Then, you know, I won a couple of fights. I, I catch first sponsor and stuff like this. Uh, you know, in Poland, there, there is a big show, KSW. Yep. I was, you know, fight over there. So they show this in TV. So if they show something in TV, you can catch sponsor. So it was a little bit easier. Uh, I start do only this. I don't have to work uh, in the like a bouncer anymore. You know, sometimes I do just you know some uh, uh, some training session with the you know uh, with the with the people, and that's it. You know, and step by step, when I become a champion of KSW, so more sponsors, more money, and after when I sign contract with UFC, so there is a big money in there. So yeah, absolutely, <laughs> I don't there is. To worry about anything right now. Yeah, and every, you know, getting to the level that you're at right now, as good as you are. Sorry that I stopped you, but I never, you know, thinking about money in the in the beginning. You know, right. after you know, when you are older, you know, you you don't live with your parents anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to make money. So that, that after that, that was passion, passion. That was your hobby, but also you you need to have uh, money from it. So you need to watch in different way a little bit on it. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I, I've had my first pro fight in 1998, and that's after 21 amateur MMA fights, and it was for $200, and the guy didn't pay me. <laughs> so you, I, I, I know what you're talking about, about fighting for the love. My, my sir, I've got, you know, uh, something like 300 zloty. It's how many bucks? 300 zloty. 60, 60 bucks, something like this. Yeah. But I, I, I spend more money for fuel to go there, you know, yeah. to, to do this fight, you know. <laughs> yeah. So... 300 water I, I put more money for fuel but anyway I was happy that I can go and fight you know real quick real quick real quick with Mike Swig <laughs>